But my biggest issue is I don't really like golf that much. So should I play Golf Story? What's up guys, it's Nima. Today, I want to talk about our sale of the week video and that is on Golf Story. Arguably, the most important announcement at the last Indie Direct was the release of Sports Story coming out next month. So a lot of people have thought, should I go back to play Golf Story? What if I don't really like sports ball at all? Is that important when it comes to at least Golf Story? We'll talk about all of that, but first I have to remind you guys, please do not hit that like or subscribe button. If you do, every time you hit it, I get shocked. And not in a good place. Or maybe in a good place. Anyway, <laughs> Golf Story was one of those games that caught a lot of people by surprise. Because golf is really only the catalyst for the story. <laughs> this game is more of an RPG than it is like a sports game. Yes, there is some sort of a hand-eye coordination required in which to play the golf, but you don't have to worry about, let's say, club type or uh, wind direction or slope or stuff like that. Like, most of it's done for you and it really just requires you to hit an indicator when prompted. And most of that's pretty simple. And granted a lot of golf games are actually like that but this really is closer to like a super mario style golf and less like a pga 2k or something like that but personally i think what attracted a lot of people to this game is the rpg aspect and the fact that it is more like a western rpg think of more like earthbound where yeah it does seem pretty legit and there's a lot going on enough for you to be engaged in the story but relaxed and chill enough for you to really kind of just enjoy the cutesy fun world that you're in so in this game though you start off as a golf prodigy you're trained by your father you're looking to be one of the best in the world but between certain things you kind of just give up you go through some rough patches and you kind of had quit on your dream as we take control of the player, he's been determined to get back into golf, to reclaim his crown, and to step upon the pedestal of his crowning achievement, and to become that golfer. And as you go back to your childhood course, you realize you have no respect at all. Nobody will give you the time of day. In fact, even the coach there, he won't train you unless you pay him. Which is fair, I suppose, except for you were like this prodigy. Anyway, you also discover that your club is kind of, I don't know, they've got a bad reputation. We'll put it that way. And it is your job to also raise that reputation, figure out why people hate you guys. And you go through, you do different challenges, different missions, you earn money to buy better clubs, you earn money to get better stuff, and ultimately you go through what turns out to be a very big story that is kind of lost in this cutesy little game. And again, I think that they do it perfectly because is it saving the world is it you know some massive rpg story no it's not but it's fun it's engaging and it's really well written as well as having incredibly memorable characters and this is the reason why so many people love golf story are the graphics top notch no but for pixel art it's done really well and highly detailed you get to notice a lot of different distinct things about the game as well as the music this game has a fantastic soundtrack and it's one of the many things about this game that has retro gamers really dig in it as well as newcomers it's easy to see why so many people have considered this sort of a cult classic when it comes down to it golf story is just a really fun game and i don't think there's much more that you can ask from it especially right now as it's about six dollars and 19 cents i believe roughly that we're we're gonna say between six and seven dollars because i can't exactly remember but i know it's under seven and you have until the 20th of this month to pick it up for that sale price. It's funny going through the list of things to talk about with this game, and things not to talk about. One of the things is the story. I don't want to ruin the story. It's got a very good story. At times, it'll really get you in the feels, and just kind of leans upon that father-son relationship in certain manners. But don't get me wrong, it's not one of those games. It's not one of those, like, touchy-feely type games. No, in fact, it's a, a lot more than that. And it's a lot more than cutesy. It becomes adventurous. It becomes fun. It becomes exciting it has all of those elements to it and it's easy to see why so many people do like this game and i understand for people to say the graphics didn't look great i don't like golf it just doesn't seem like my type of game but if you like rpgs you will like this game and even if it takes a couple times to get into it it's worth it trust me it's it's one of those type of games that once you put in just a, a little bit of time once you allow that to you know get its tentacles around you you will be sucked into this game but i, I have to say too like it took me about two or three times of playing 
because when I first started it, they didn't really give you any sort of direction. I, I don't know if there was a patch more recently, but when I first played it, I really didn't like it. And I just had no idea where to go. And then the second time I played it, they had that patch. And once I figured out where to go, the game really just like sunk its claws in me. And I, I really enjoyed it. And quickly, Sports Story became one of my most anticipated games of the year. And I was really relegated to the fact that it was going to be out in 2023 at some point. So the fact that it's coming out so soon, the fact that the game is on sale, all of these things align for you to give it a try if you haven't played it. Anyway guys, that's my sale of the week video. It's on Golf Story, as I've mentioned this entire video, uh, but right now it's about $6.50. $6, I swear it was $6.19, but again, I can't find it on the eShop because Nintendo hates me, uh, but I know it's under $7 and you have until the 20th to pick it up, so you've got a good five days before uh, you're no longer able to get that sale. Anyway, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hey, let me know if you guys have played this, what your thoughts on Golf Story. Are you excited for Sports Story? Anything and everything, I want to hear from you. Anyway, like always, guys, I'm wishing you health, wealth, and above all. I hope you're truly happy because you make me happy. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. I had a lot of editing to do. That was bad.